What's up everybody, this is Danny and today I'm going to be unboxing the iPad mini with Retina Display. This is the Retina Display that we've been waiting on ever since the original release of the iPad mini. And it comes in two different colors, I have the silver and white version here, also comes in space gray. And it does cost $100 more than the regular iPad mini, but I think it's definitely worth it. So let's see what else comes in the box. And right here in this little pouch, you get the iPad mini diagram, some warranty information, and of course, those Apple stickers. Then you get the USB to lightning cord as you get on all of the other Apple devices. And here you get a 10 watt charging brick. So nothing out of the ordinary for Apple devices. So let's reiterate on price again. It is $399 for the 16 gigabyte model. And then you have to up $100 every time that you bump up storage and then add 129 dollars if you want to add lte connectivity so let's go ahead and take the plastic off of this thing and i got the white model this time because i have the black ipad mini one so this is kind of like the ipad mini 2 but the dimensions are fairly the same and it looks pretty much the same here but you're going to notice a little bit difference on weight but that's about it but i have the silver model here and it looks beautiful Let's compare the original iPad mini with the iPad mini with retina display in the middle and look at the iPad Air on the right hand side. It just looks like a beast compared to these two iPad minis. And here's the color range here where the right is an iPad Air I know but it replaces the black slate model that is on the left hand side so it's available in the silver and available in space gray. All right, let's take a quick hardware tour. On the back, you will find a five megapixel iSight camera. On the bottom, you will find stereo speakers and the lightning connector port. On one side, you will find the volume rocker switches that are separated with a mute switch. And on the other side, you find absolutely nothing. And on the top, you will find the power button, the dual microphone setup, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So here's a better look at that dual microphone setup with the headphone jack and the 5 megapixel iSight camera that is unchanged from the last generation. Of course, this is running iOS 7, but that is not the big news about this iPad mini with Retina display. The big deal is that this is running the exact same A7 dual core processor that is in the iPhone 5S and the new iPad Air, so this should pack plenty of horsepower for your tablet needs. So, this seems to be pretty snappy on first inspection, but I will definitely go over more of the performance in the full review. So what do you guys think about this iPad mini with Retina display? Is this the tablet that you've been waiting for despite its $399 price tag? Be sure to follow me on Twitter at SuperScientific and let me know what kind of things you want to see in the full review and also leave comments in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.